Solo Sokoa has made the bloodline his own since the departure of Roman Reigns. While the tribal chief may only be on hiatus, it feels as though his former tribal heir has taken full control of the faction. While Sokoa maintains that he is doing all this with Reigns' blessing, one cannot help but feel this is a rebellion against the status quo. But what was the breaking point for the street champion? To understand why Solo Sokoa decided to betray Roman Reigns, one has to analyze their relationship. While there is no doubt that Sokoa was loyal to the head of the table, they did have some tense moments. Whether it was Reigns bumping into Sokoa on one episode of SmackDown or downplaying the Enforcer's thoughts, one could notice a visible undercurrent between the duo. But perhaps the breaking point for Sokoa came at WrestleMania 40. Roman Reigns defended his undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a Bloodline Rules match at the show of shows earlier this year. During the match, Solo Sokoa came to the Tribal Chief's rescue and laid out the American Nightmare. After attacking Cody, Sokoa screamed at Reigns to get up and finish the job. However, the big dog took his time to get back to his feet. The frustration in Solo's eyes was quite visible. Hence, Roman's casual attitude and his eventual defeat could have convinced the tribal heir to take the burden of restoring the bloodline to its former glory on his shoulders. Solo Sokoa recently anointed the newest members of the bloodline. Solo Sokoa has made some big changes since taking over the reins of the bloodline. Most notably, he kicked out Jimmy USO before adding Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa to the heel faction. On last week's episode of SmackDown, Sokoa held a special ceremony where he formally acknowledged both Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa. He named Tama his right-hand man and dubbed the latter's brother the infamous Tonga Loa. These are certainly interesting times for the bloodline. The group has become more and more ruthless in recent weeks. It will be interesting to see how the saga unfolds in the coming weeks. Solo Sokoa's Breaking Point, a rebellion against Roman Reigns Solo Sokoa, born as Joseph Fatu, is a pivotal member of the Anoa'i family, a lineage synonymous with professional wrestling. When Sokoa debuted in WWE, it was under the looming shadow of his cousin, Roman Reigns, who had solidified his place as the head of the table and the dominant force within the bloodline faction. The story of Sokoa's eventual rebellion against Reigns is not just a narrative of professional wrestling, but a saga that mirrors the timeless themes of family, loyalty, and personal identity. Hashtag, 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 the rise of Solo Sokoa. Solo Sokoa's introduction to WWE was met with much anticipation. As the younger brother of Jimmy and G.U.S.O. and the son of Rikishi, his wrestling pedigree was impeccable. Initially, Sokoa was portrayed as the silent enforcer for Reigns, a role that allowed him to showcase his strength and ruthlessness. He quickly became known for his relentless in-ring style, mirroring the aggression and dominance that Reigns had mastered. The Bloodline was a faction built on the premise of family loyalty. Roman Reigns, as the undisputed leader, demanded respect and unwavering allegiance from his cousins. For a time, Sokoa fit perfectly into this dynamic, often seen as the muscle behind Reigns' reign of terror over the WWE roster. However, this subservient role would eventually become a source of internal conflict for Sokoa. Hashtag, 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 the shadow of Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns' transformation into the tribal chief was one of the most significant character evolutions in modern WWE history. He became the face of the company, exuding confidence and a sense of entitlement that was both compelling and controversial. Reigns demanded loyalty not only as a leader but as the head of his family, expecting complete obedience from the Bloodline members. For Sokoa, this dynamic was suffocating. Despite his impressive performances and growing popularity, he was constantly overshadowed by Reigns' larger-than-life persona. The accolades, the main event spots, and the championship titles were all within Reigns' grasp, leaving Sokoa in a perpetual state of being the overlooked enforcer. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag cracks in the bloodline the seeds of rebellion were sown long before they blossomed into full-fledged defiance. Subtle tensions began to emerge within the bloodline. Roman Reigns' authoritarian leadership style started to wear thin on his cousins, particularly Sokoa, who was growing increasingly aware of his own potential and aspirations. 
One pivotal moment came during a backstage segment where Reigns publicly berated Sokoa for a perceived failure. This public humiliation, coupled with Reigns' incessant demands, began to chip away at Sokoa's loyalty. The incident was not just a storyline device, but a symbolic representation of the real-life pressures and expectations that come with being part of a wrestling dynasty. Hashtag, 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 the influence of family and legacy family ties run deep within the Inoai family, and this heritage is a double-edged sword. While it offers a sense of belonging and shared purpose, it also imposes expectations and responsibilities that can be overwhelming. For Sokoa, the legacy of his father Rikishi and his brothers the Usos was both an inspiration and a burden. Rikishi, a WWE Hall of Famer, was known for his charismatic persona and significant contributions to the industry. The Usos, multiple-time tag team champions, had carved out their own legacy as one of the greatest tag teams in WWE history. Sokoa, however, was determined to forge his own path, to be recognized not just as the brother of the Usos or the son of Rikishi, but as Solo Sokoa, a force in his own right. Hashtag, 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 the breaking point, the final straw came during a high-stakes match where Roman Reigns, in a fit of arrogance, blamed Sokoa for a crucial loss. This was not just a loss in the ring, but a symbolic defeat for Sokoa's sense of self-worth. The relentless pressure, the constant belittling, and the lack of recognition culminated in Sokoa's breaking point. In a dramatic turn of events, Sokoa confronted Reigns, questioning his leadership and his treatment of family. This confrontation was a cathartic moment for Sokoa, a release of pent-up frustration and a declaration of his independence. The WWE Universe watched in shock as Sokoa delivered a superkick to Reigns, a move that symbolized his rebellion and the beginning of his journey to establish his own legacy. Hashtag, 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 the aftermath Sokoa's rebellion sent shockwaves through the bloodline and the WWE. It marked the end of an era for the faction and the beginning of a new chapter for Sokoa. The act of defiance was not just a storyline twist, but a powerful narrative about finding one's voice and identity in the face of overwhelming odds. In the weeks and months that followed, Sokoa embarked on a solo journey, facing off against some of WWE's top stars and earning respect as a formidable competitor. His matches were characterized by a renewed sense of purpose and a determination to prove himself on his own terms. Hashtag, 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 conclusion, Solo Sokoa's rebellion against Roman Reigns was a defining moment in WWE history, encapsulating the timeless struggle for identity and respect within the confines of family loyalty and professional ambition. It was a story of breaking free from the shadows, of standing up to authoritarian control, and of forging a new path in a world where legacy and individuality are often at odds. As Sokoa continues to rise within WWE, his journey serves as a reminder that true strength lies not just in physical prowess, but in the courage to stand up for oneself and to carve out one's own destiny. The breaking point was not just an end, but a beginning, a transformative moment that redefined Solo Sokoa's place in the wrestling world and set the stage for his future as a standout star.